So our meaningful activity coordinators or pink ladies um, are a three strong team of um, ladies <laughs> that deliver meaningful activities to our patient group on our physical health inpatient wards here at Colville. So they do um, different activities with our patients to help them um, engage with different therapeutic interventions as well. So they work closely with our physiotherapists, our occupational therapists and also our speech and language therapists for the stroke unit to develop activities that will help with a patient's recovery. It's a sneaky kind of therapy. We do work in conjunction with uh, the physios and the OTs on a ward, particularly with the OTs because occupational therapy and activities are kind of related. Um, and so they're having fun doing things that they wouldn't necessarily do with the occupational therapists or the physios, but we're providing a therapy sneakily. Can you give an example of that? Uh, we do a games afternoon, for instance, where we get all the games out, connect for dominoes, cards. That's to help a stroke patient use their affected limb, but it's not in a clinical environment. There are other people in there, and we, you know, we have a laugh, we make it fun. It doesn't feel clinical. Sometimes there's a cup of tea at the end of it, or during it if they want it, and yes, that will be in the China Cup for them. The tea parties are magnificent on Ward 1. Uh, we get every patient involved, all the relatives are invited to the tea parties, there's posters put up, there's uh, leaflets put on the patient table, we get the staff involved, everybody has to have a cup of tea and a cake and a chat. We set up the day room with nice tablecloths, we have china cups and saucers, teapots, milk jugs, so it feels much nicer than the hospital beaker. And we sit them round, round tables so everybody gets the chance to interact with somebody. So we get loads of positive feedback from patients and relatives and also staff on the ward. Um, they see the impact of what the Meaningful Activity Coordinators do and the benefit to the patients. Um, they deliver a very person-centred approach to what they do with the patients and use um, things such as our digital reminiscence therapy software um, kits that we have to <coughs> basically engage with the patients on a more personal level so they do things differently. Um, they may not think that they're doing sort of therapy interventions so they feel a bit different about it and they feel more positive and they don't tend to feel very patient like they feel more person. We also have all our uh, display on each wall. This month on ours it's the seaside so we take the table over to the patients when we're in the room. We talk about various things that are on the table. We've got song sheets for, and we do like to be beside the seaside and stuff. They have a bucket of sand underneath that they can feel. Evaluating the project as we run through, um, a lot of the therapists that are now working closely with the Meaningful Activity Coordinators are gathering data and feedback from patients and they've noticed a difference in the way the patients are interacting and engaging with other types of treatment at the same time, so it's having a positive effect from that point of view. There are other <coughs> bits of information and research out there around deconditioning um, and how we should be working for patients to maintain their independence and not sort of bring them into hospital, strip them of independence and treat them like a patient, but maintain that person-centred approach. I think that if somebody says thank you to me at the end of the day because they've not spent eight hours in a chair and they've actually done something, they've had some social interaction or they've played a game or they've listened to some music and that helps them feel better, then they feel more positive, which then will impact on their rehab because their mood will be much lighter. So yes, it works.